welcome all of you myself like to verma today in this video lecture we are going to study species diversity in our previous lecture we have already studied genetic diversity now in species diversity so we are going to study what are the context of species diversity so the first question arises is what is species diversity so basically species diversity is the number of variety of species in a particular region number of different species that are represented in a given community or data set it is what diversity or species diversity it incorporates both the number of species in a community which is called as species richness and the evenness of the species that is the abundance now what are the factors for species diversity number 1 is speciation what is speciation it is the evolutionary process by which new biological species arise next is extinction extinction is defined as the reduction of species to such low abundance that although it is still present in the community it no longer interacts significantly with other species next point is migration now what is migration it is the moving of individuals of a species from one place to another this is what migration is next is immigration now you must be very familiar with these words immigration and emigration Now, what is immigration? It is the migration seen as the setting in one region permanently or temporarily of individuals coming from another region. Now, what is emigration? Emigration is seen as an exit of individuals from one region to another where they will settle permanently or temporarily. Therefore, individuals emigrate from and immigrate. two now what are the influences of species diversity you can see species richness as we studied what is species richness it is the number of species that live in a certain location you can count or it is a count of species and it does not take into account the abundances of the species or their relative abundance distribution what is relative abundance it is the number of individuals of each species refers to how common or rare a species is relative to other species in a defined location now you can see there are different hot spots for species diversity but the hottest spot for species diversity are tropical rainforests tropical rainforest comprise of only 7% of all the land on earth yet they are home to nearly 50% species of all the species present on the earth so this is our tropical rainforest look and it comprises only 7% of the total land of the earth yet they comprise the 50% of total species present on earth Next example of the hotspot is coral reefs. It is the colonies of tiny coral animals built in the large coral reefs ecosystem. The clarity of water in the coral reef system allows the sunlight to penetrate deep, resulting in the high level of photosynthesis in the algae which is present inside the coral. adaptation to various disturbances and needs specialization give rise to species richness now what are the importance of species diversity why is it so important the first point is the more diverse ecosystem it tend to be more productive example the ecosystem with a great variety of producer species will produce large biomass to support a greater variety of consumer species 
and the greater the species richness and productivity makes an ecosystem more sustainable and stable if the ecosystem is more diverse then greater is the ability to withstand environmental stresses like drought or invasive infestation what is invasive infestation these are the invasive species which are not native to that particular area species species richness make an ecosystem able to respond to any kind of catastrophe that is why species diversity is of very much important so students i hope you all must have understood what is species diversity in our next video lecture we are going to study ecological diversity thank you